Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video. Today, guys, we are back with some more LEGO Marvel's superheroes. Let's get right into this. Also, this is a special episode because it's also a story time episode. So it means we're going to be playing some LEGO Marvel superheroes while I'm going to be describing a story in the background. Now, this story is a real story. It is something I personally experienced. So despite it being a little far-fetched at times, it is something that's absolutely true and realistic because it literally happened to me. Um, it is also Halloween themed. It's a little spooky. It's a little scary. It definitely traumatized me as a kid more than I would like to admit. So, um, <laughs> this is the story of how I found a human skull in the middle of my, like, I don't know, second grade, oh, yeah. third grade, like, science, um, experiment. So, first, I gotta preface this with some background details, right? So, uh... This was this probably took place in like the second grade, maybe in the first half of the third grade, cause um I used to live in New York before I moved, and when I moved I moved in like the, ha the in like the midway part of like the third grade, so this story probably takes place tor like towards the second or third grade. Now it's been a while since the story happened, so some of the more like unimportant details aren't as like clear in my head as like they would be. So, for some things that I, like, can't remember, I'm just gonna be like, I can't remember this, or this is what I think happened, right? But for the important things, the things that are like, uh, okay, so this is a, uh, Mr. Fantastic thing. So, yeah, for the, um, for the important things, right, the things that actually matter, I'm absolutely going to just, like, I'm going, I, I remembered it all, basically, so, yeah. Um, so let's start. Uh, this was a second grade or third grade experiment, like I said, where we were really, <laughs> we were, um, growing caterpillars, right, into butterflies to, um, like, witness the process of them turning into, like, a chrysalis, and I actually forget the name of this process, I probably should have looked it up before starting this, but I absolutely don't even remember what the name of this thing, of what this process is, right, um, it's, I don't think it's metamorphosis, right? Who, who knows? You know what? I'm blanking on the name right now. I'm being a little goofy, silly, but who cares? Does not matter. Um, yep, there we go. So, yeah. So, every person in the classroom, right, got a, like, a jar with some holes poked out in, into it where we had a caterpillar and inside of the caterpillar, uh, like, not inside of the caterpillar, sorry, inside of the jar along with the caterpillar, pillar was why can't i okay you know what whatever i can't escape this so who cares um so along with the caterpillar right was a bunch of dirt and inside in the middle of that sorry i'm trying to focus here but i'm also trying to tell this story okay let me let me let me reorient myself all right so inside of the jars right with the holes in it so that the caterpillars could breathe obviously there was like a bunch of dirt at the very bottom and then there was like this it wasn't really like a, it's a stick even though that's kind of what it was it was just just a stick but the problem was that like if you've ever seen a bonsai tree right and the way like it branches out into like a bunch of different different sections i don't know where she got these sticks because they clearly weren't just picked up off the ground but like these sticks looked like they could grow into many trees because they had like two three different branches like just branching out of them even though they were as thin and like as small as a branch themselves so like we had these like mini like branch trees right most of them were leafless. They didn't have any leaves on them. I think, like, one lucky student had one that had, like, a singular leaf on it. But, like, for the most part, there were no leaves on these sticks, right? And, uh, yeah, let's go over here. And so, we, we get these caterpillars, right? And we're feeding them, uh, like, leaves, as we're meant to do. And we're all having a bunch of fun. And I actually remember the caterpillar was so, so cute. This isn't, like, important to the main story. But the caterpillars were so, so cute. Bro, why do these people keep losing animals? I swear to God, bro. Yo, stop losing animals. Anyway. um, So, yeah, the caterpillar was super, super cute. At least mine was. It was super friendly. Um, We weren't supposed to take it out the jar because they were, like, super fragile and they would die if we did. So, I don't think... It, I, for the first time in, like, a long time, I don't think anybody, like, uh, didn't listen to our teacher, which is kind of a miracle in and of itself. But, yeah, so, like, we fed the caterpillars and everything's cool, and, like, we kept feeding them and all that, and then 
Um, we had a break, right? Like, obviously, our teacher would feed them on the weekends because we, could, like, weren't in school at that time. And then we had a break coming up, right? I, and if I remember correctly, it was a week-long break. But it could have been, like, maybe just, like, an extra day or two break, right? Like, it could have been Saturday and Sunday. And then also, like, having a, a day or two. I don't actually remember the specifics. But I do remember we had a break coming up, right? Because our teacher was like, okay, so here's what's going to happen, guys. We are going to, um... Uh, here's what's gonna happen, guys, right? We're going to, like, go on this break, right? And I am going to... At least see, at least we get to ride this gorilla. So, yeah. And I am going to, like, make sure these guys are fed and everything. But most of these caterpillars are going to be turning into chrysalises over, like, the course of your break. So, by the time you guys get back, you'll, like, see all your caterpillars already in chrysalises. And then we're, we'll uh, release the ones that turn into butterflies, because it should be all of them, into the wild. So, we were all super hyped. You know what I mean? We, we, we went on our break. We came back super hyped. Now, oddly enough, like, one or two students is, like, uh, like, caterpillars were still in their chrysalises. So, we, we, I don't really know why, I, I don't like, I don't know the specifics, I don't think I even saw them sold in the chrysalises, because I just didn't care, I was so enthralled with the little butterfly in my jar, right? And thinking about it now, I don't know if it actually takes a week to, um, oh my for a butterfly to become a, uh, from a chrysalis to become a butterfly, I mean, like, I just don't know. Maybe our teachers just swapped out all the caterpillars with butterflies. I don't actually know. I'm not gonna hold you, cause cause we never saw the chrysalises other for the, other than those like one or two students. So I I wouldn't really be able to tell you. But either way, right? All of us except I think genuinely two students now had butterflies, right? So what we did is we uh, I think we were like on the second or third floor, right? So we went down to the first floor. And, um, and this is kind of where, like, the spooky stuff starts to happen, so just, 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 just a warning, you know what I mean? Well, we go down to, like, the first floor, we leave, and, uh, we don't go to, like, the, the playground, right, or, like, the field, because, um, I think every school has, like, a playground or a field where, like, you get, uh, recess in, right, and, uh, you might even eat your lunch there, you know, depending on the school. I know I've had schools before where they would let you, if you wanted to, eat lunch on the recess field, or you could just have recess there and really dependent on the school. But, um, anyway. So, oh, I don't even want to know how a lion got up here. I'm not going to hold you. I don't even want to know. Anyway, so we go we go out into this, like, fenced-off area. It's, like I said, it's not, like, the main field of, like, the, the school's playground. Instead, there's this back door that, like, that's on the first uh, floor where if you go to, like, the very back corner of the school. And if you go out this door... There's like this little fenced off area that goes, um, l let me, let me get off this guy for a second just so I can show you, okay? So, if this building right here was the, um, if this building right here was the school, right, then, um, since I can't fly while using my laser powers, okay, so then the fence would kind of be like this wide from the actual building, and it goes straight, and then it like goes left, right? So... It's not like a very complex design. It's it goes straight and then it will just go left on this like corner bin, right? So we were all released into this field and like we released our butterflies within like the first two seconds and our teacher was like you guys can just like play around uh, and like until the other kids also release their butterflies and we, uh, we will just be outside for the uh, rest of our class period anyway. So all of us were super happy, super hyped. You know what I mean? Uh, we were goofing off. Now, me and my best friend Jason, I'm um, obviously not his real name for story purposes, but um, so I don't actually remember what we were doing, right? But we got bored, so we went to go explore, and we turned the corner, right? We went left where the other part of the fenced off area is. So now we've left, so this is the important part. We've left our teacher's supervision, you know what I mean? We're not in her direct eyesight anymore. Now, the fence area isn't very wide, it's probably only big enough. For like maybe seven students to stand shoulder to shoulder next to each other and that's how wide it is like i said it's not a very wide area you know what i mean there's a few trees and everything but it's more so just to like like i actually don't even know why the school would have this if not for this like experiment because it kind of serves no purpose but either way right it's just a small little fenced off area where you can kind of just stand there look at the trees i don't know but um as soon as we turn the corner right there's these two kids oh sorry not two kids 
There's these, like, four kids, like, um, what the hell is an elephant? Okay, sure. So there's, like, these four or five kids who are just digging a hole. I mean, they're literally just digging a hole. They're, they've dug it pretty deep, due too. And there's a bunch of kids just, like, standing around the hole, um, like, just watching it, right? Now, I don't rem I don't know if... We're gonna call the girl, the girl Elena, okay? That's not, again, not her real name. But Elena and Jason and me were kind of, like, best friends throughout old, uh, like, old, like, first, second, and third grade, right? We were, like, glued to the hip. It was, uh... It was a very, very close-knit friendship. And basically what was going on is she was like, this this becomes important later, but she was standing on like, uh, leaning on like the fence at the very corner of the fenced off area, right? She wasn't digging the hole, but she was close enough to the hole where, where she could like look into it, okay? This becomes important. So me and Jason go into the hole, right? And we start digging too, because we're bored. We have nothing else to do, okay? So here we are just digging this hole, right? Literally, we have no other th thoughts than like, we're just bored and this is going to be fun. That's a, that's literally it. I wonder if this elephant can now... No, I don't think this elephant can jump, unfortunately. So how am I supposed to get it in here? Ugh, this is annoying. I have to walk it through, don't I? I literally have to go to this... Ah, uh, okay. This is gonna be a pain. Anyway, so like, we jump into this hole and we start digging, okay? And like, as we're digging... <laughs> Oh, I still hate myself for being how silly, okay? But yeah, so as we're digging, you know what I mean? Um, I find like this shiny, like, not even shiny. I find like this rock, right? And it has a very smooth texture. So me being already bored, right? The only reason I'm even doing this. Yo, my animals have run away. Bring them back to me and save the day. Are you kidding me? Okay, so. I think they're all around Chinatown way. Did the elephant just run away, my man? Yo, where's this elephant? Oh, okay. You know what? This elephant is much smarter than I am. I'm not gonna hold you. This elephant is a genius compared to me. This elephant is a genius. So anyway, I find like this uh, shiny like rock, right? And me being already uh, bored, right? I want to pull it out. So like I plunge my hand into the dirt and like like, I'm thinking this rock is, like, probably, like, bigger, right, than what I'm looking at at the surface. And I'm like, it's probably, because what I see on the surface is, like, a very small fragment. And I'm like, yeah, this is probably, like, a, a decent-sized rock, you know what I mean? But it's just so smooth. Now like, I think, I think as kids, we all so like to, correct, to collect rocks, so even if we didn't known. have, a, a, like, a rock collection. Here we just go. all, like... If we saw a cool looking rock, we would just grab it, right? And at the time, that's that's the only thing that was in my head, right? I was like, oh, this is a cool looking rock. I'm gonna grab it. So so I, I plunge my hand into like the dirt around it, right? And I'm like closing my fingers in it because I'm I'm assuming this rock is gonna be bigger than what I see on the surface. So that way when my fingers like reach like the middle like portion of the rock, I can just pull it out. Now the dirt around this so-called rock right was already pretty like loose because we were digging an entire hole so like all of the dirt was being scooped oh, yeah. up by our hand by our hands so there wasn't very much like like firm dirt remaining okay so here i go to like like pull out this rock and i find my finger like slips into like a groove okay and i'm like oh this is a very weird shaped rock okay and i pull out okay and and i, I swear to god bro even now to this day i still like like record Recalling this moment makes my spine shiver, okay? So, I pull out, like, the, the stone, and I swear to God, the entire area goes silent. Even the kids who aren't looking at my hand, just for all of us, for no reason, stop, okay? It's as if all of us knew something was about to happen, and we all just, like, simultaneously decided to stop, okay? In, in hindsight, it is the creepiest thing ever. But anyway... I wait two seconds, right, just staring at my hand, and I'm not even lying to you, my brain blanked out, so even though I knew there was something in my hand, for like the first two seconds, I just didn't see anything in my hand, and then like, reality slowly came back, and I see what's in my hand, and I just, I'm not gonna hold you, I scream like a little girl, I was like, ah, and I just throw this 
<laughs> this what what turns out to be a human skull right at Jason. This man isn't even looking at me, but he sees like like something like coming towards him, right? He grabs out of instinct, and then one second later, he screams and throws it at Elena. And Elena, this props to her, doesn't even hold it for like a minute or for a second or two, like we all did, and so got stunned. As soon as it touched her hands, she was immediately throwing it in an opposite direction. Now. You have a bunch of kids playing hot potato with a with a skull and screaming every time they touch it. So obviously our teacher is like, what the hell is happening? Cause all I hear is ah, ee, ooh, constantly. I don't know why that sounded like monkey noises, but anyway, like like I just a bunch of children screaming. So obviously our teacher comes running, right? Along with the group with with the like group of kids that will that will start playing around the teacher. Cause you have to remember, our class split in half. Half of us went to go either dig the hole or just watch the kids dig the hole and the other half stayed like around where the teacher was so this teacher turns the, turns the corner and she sees us throwing a human skull no joke back and forth just and just continuously screaming all of us are like freaked out of our minds we're bro we're like eight nine years old we should not have to deal with this nonsense okay and we have no idea what to do so for the first time in my life i think this is genuinely like only two times in my entire life i played hot potato and the first time was with an actual human skull so you know as far as first times go <laughs> But nah, so we're just throwing it, and then one of the kids who gets the skull, as soon as he sees the teacher coming, he just throws the skull at her. And this, I swear to god, I don't even remember this teacher's face because it's been so long, but I still, like, I still remember this moment, right? It's just engraved in my mind. This, bro, this total badass grabs the skull in one hand, just holds it like, 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 just holds it so nonchalantly. And she's like, who'd like to explain what's going on here? And I kid you not, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, it's not my fault. And the reason that's the first thing that comes out of my mouth is because every single student in the area who was here when we were thinking this whole simultaneously pointed at me it's not my fault i didn't know it was a human skull i thought it was a rock okay it's not my fault so immediately i'm like yo bro nah it's not even me you can't even get mad at me i didn't know and she's like what and she's like where did you find this the most oblivious answer i'm not even gonna hold you even at that moment i was like at that moment i was obviously too scared to like say anything irrational but like bro like, like, now in hindsight, I'm like, bro, this is the dumbest question. You see us standing inside of a hole. Where did you think we got them? Like, so you think I pulled it out of thin air? Clearly, I just pulled it out this hole. But at the time, I start crying, and I'm like, it's not, I didn't mean to, it's not my fault. Bro, I was, I was freaking out, okay? Like, for, 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 yo, every 10-year-old knows... The only thing scarier than a human skull is an angry teacher, especially an angry teacher with your parents' phone number. I did not want my mom to get a phone call, your child's digging up graves in the middle of our school field. That's not what I'm trying to have my mom hear, okay? So I was freaking out. Literally, the only thought running through my mind was my mom's gonna kill me. That was the it. That was the only thought running through my mind. So our teacher pulls us all inside the classroom, right? Doesn't bring the skull with her. It's a genius idea. I don't know where she put the skull. I wasn't paying enough attention. My, my brain was already, like, at its maximum, like, retention capacity. I have no idea what was happening with that skull afterwards. But she brings us all in the class. And, uh, like, she calms us down, right? And honestly, the rest of the day is pretty much a blur up until like uh like a lunch right where she sends all the kids to the cafeteria to eat but she keeps me there right and she's like okay so can you explain what happened like step by step right and i walk her through my day and, and she's like okay so so can you show me where, where where you got the skull and i'm like sure i can and i go and she takes me outside to the field and a hey, props for like nine eight year old me i was not as horrified as i should have been i literally walked through the field as if everything was fine walked straight up to that hole and pointed straight at where i thought it was and i like bro i'm not even you know, it was <laughs> i was so scared in that moment but now that i think about it i acted so irrationally why would i go back towards that hole my stupid self anyway so like my teacher looks at it and she's like hmm okay don't tell anyone else about this and i'm like okay as a kid clearly she was trying to stop the panic but like 
the kids already spread the rumor, okay? The kid, everybody in the school knew by the next day, okay? I, you, you can't really hide finding an entire human skull. Like, I don't know what you expect. Now, the crazy thing about this story is, for years, our school was rumored to be built upon a graveyard. Now, here's the thing about schools, right? Almost every school is rumored to be built upon a graveyard. I don't think I've been in a single school that wasn't built upon a graveyard. Every single one of those rumors is false, okay? That's why kids will hear those rumors, get scared for like three days, and then be like, yeah, okay, it, every single school can't be built upon a graveyard. This is clearly just rumors, and then you ignore it, right? And yes, I am literally just standing here in this game. I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out for, to focus on the on this story. Y'all gonna have to just forgive me. I'm not gonna hold you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so, you know what? I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of this. It, I might as well focus on the storytelling. It's, it gets really good. It doesn't even matter. I only have, like, a minute or two left anyway. So, anyway, back to the good story. So, like, like, it turns out that our school actually was built upon a graveyard. It wasn't rumors. This is just something that was an actual fact. Which was so wild to us, because there were so many things that happened in that school that were just creepy. And, like, that's why that rumor kept coming, oh, it, it's built upon a graveyard, it's built upon a graveyard. And we as kids were clearly like, uh huh, yeah, whatever. But now we're like, oh, it actually is? That explains so much. Like, like, bro, oh, yeah. like... <laughs> There's there's a story I'm gonna tell right later, which is uh, it's a short story. It's only like three four minutes probably, but um, I'll like like end of the story is a kid goes missing. Even to this day, I don't know what happened to him. But knowing what he tried to do and knowing that the school is built upon a graveyard, I'm not really too surprised. But yeah, this is my school. This is this is the first school I went to in my entire life. This is, this is what I had to deal with as growing up, bro. <laughs> like, my sister didn't even believe this story because when she was young, she was in denial. And then when she grew up a little bit, like, she, she, she had, like, this denial so firmly implanted in her mind that whenever I brought up this story, she just didn't believe me. Until one time, my dad is giving me, a friend, and her a car, a car ride. And me and my friend are talking about this incident, and my sister is just sitting in the middle of us listening to us. And she's like, oh, so this actually did happen. Now she believes me, but I'm like, it's a little too late. Like, <laughs> this already happened. So, yeah, this is, this is my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it as amusing as I did. I hope you get... Uh, I hope you got a little tingle in your spine, you feel, and Halloween's died. These stories aren't really, like, like that spooky. None of them are, like, mysticism, except, like, the, uh, one of them, which I'm not even sure I want to tell, because that story still gives me the creeps to this day. But, yeah, so this is really... This is really it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit hit the like as well and comment down below either for me or your fellow viewers. Come on. Oh, yeah. We all know we want that attention. You feel me? You, if you hit if you drop a comment, I will give you a like. How about that? That's right. Some sweet internet points. Come on now. Um I was going to make a very 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 <laughs> I was about to make a drug related joke and I'm like, "Actually, this channel is supposed to stay close child friendly. I'm I'm not going to make that joke." But just know that I thought about it, and that's enough credit. Um, so yeah, that's all for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, see you all later on today, because we have, like, a bunch more of these stories to get through. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you all later. Peace out, everyone. See you guys later. Bye!